Alright guys, welcome back. Today we have a Empire Wars match on Frigid Lake. I'm playing in the red as Vikings and in the blue is Hacker75 who's playing as the Slavs. Uh, main thing to know about Frigid Lake is you can't build farms around your TC because of the water. You do get some shore fish. Uh, that forces you to have to build your farms further away where they're more exposed. There is a decent amount of fish in the middle, uh, but you do take a risk if you go to early fishing ships that you might lose them. There's gold and stones scattered alongside the edge edges of the map as well as some relics. And Oh yeah, real quick. So, Hacker75, let's go back to him. Never played with him before. I looked him up on the AoE2 companion app. And it does not have his uh, flag for his country on there. So I don't know where he's from. His Empire Wars rating is about a thousand. His Empire's War team is about a thousand. His regular match is a little over a thousand. And his regular team match is close to 1200. And that's pretty similar for me as well. So this is... Uh, a pretty even game as far as score goes or elo goes um, so I decided that I wanted to get some archers out here um, it's pretty obvious if you've played this game enough that you, you know, if you're facing vikings you're probably going to go against archers uh, his scouts got there a little bit faster than I expected as you can see here having to pull my scout back doesn't have bloodlines Thankfully, I'm trying to get him under my TC. I uh, did lose one archer. He loses a scout. And my scout's awfully low. And, okay, so two scouts gone for him. One archer down for me. And got four archers up now. Five. Trying to get a little ball of archers up if possible. I put extra villagers on gold here. Um, prioritizing gold and wood. Um, I am going to add in a stable because, you know, the counter to uh, archers is skirms, and the counter to skirms is um, scouts. So, building a stable, I'm going to try and get a couple uh, scouts out, and they're going to protect my archers from skirms that are probably going to show up. And to support that, I need to get some farming eco up. So I am building a mill back here, like I said. Um, I believe, yeah, Hacker75 is doing the exact same thing. Now, as Slavs, they get that farming bonus really strong. He's not worried about taking the middle control for the free fish or anything. He's just going to focus on getting his farms up, getting some walls up here. He does have a couple of spears out. Um, and here's the skirms. So, pretty smart on his half to get the counter out to my archers out but you know I know that he's gonna counter my archers so here's my counter getting some uh, some scouts out now Vikings do not get bloodlines unfortunately uh, so they're not extremely strong scouts I'm not gonna get any upgrades it's mostly just to distract the skirms and try and take some of them out I'm walling up on the left flank and at some point I'll finish walling off the right flank as well as my archers move out. So right now he's got two spears, five skirms, and that's about it as far as military goes. I'm gonna come in here and try and get some uh, some kills. I do see that spear decide to run away. Also I have 41 villagers right now and Hacker has 44 so he actually does have the villager lead playing chess out here trying to get some good engagements on him still no bloodlines for either player and so you see here this is what I'm talking about uh, trying to take out his skirms unfortunately he has a spear that's poking the crap out of my uh, scouts takes two of them out unfortunately for me should have focus fired that spear he gets another scout out spear goes down Second spear goes down. 
and he's building a defensive tower, which honestly, I love that. I love that I was able to force that out of him. Uh, that's 125 stone to do what? Protect a wood line, um, a couple of berries left over as I clean up that army. You know, I'll take that all day. I, if I were him, I think I would have probably just tried to wall up behind, maybe build a market or something along the lines, and uh, just kind of delay and keep me out of here. But uh, defensive tower, it's great. I love it. And so I lucked out big time. There's actually a one tile gap right here um, between the wall and the map, or the, the, the last piece of wood in the map. And so I'm going to take advantage of that and send my archers around the backside. I don't know if he knew that or not. Uh, let's actually go to his point of view. Yeah, so he does not know what uh, how open it is or closed it is. Everything else is walled up around here. This is open, though. Yeah, so he, this is where scouting comes in. If you lose your scout early. And actually, look at that. Okay, so he is scouting. He did do some scouting. And I got it, that scout there. So, hello. He knows... Yeah, he knows I'm coming in here. Trying to get some free villager picks. Get one. He's got to skirm out. There we go. And skirms are just going to be too much. I'm going to have to pull back. But meanwhile, I'm almost to castle it. Oh, wait. He's almost to castle age. I think I am as well. Yeah, I'm slightly ahead of him. Uh, 92% up to castle age. Got another ball of archers coming out here. I hit castle age a little bit before him. Pulling back these archers here. Um, I'm happy with picking off several villagers, causing delay, um, killing some skirms, some, some scouts. So I would rather not just throw my army away, not knowing what he might throw at me. He might, uh, you know, get some knights out early or something. bringing my archers around here they are now crossbowmen and I'm going for a dock um, I don't see really anyone doing it but uh, not a lot of people build navy in the middle especially if the middle is not being contested um, at least from what I've seen especially Viking longboats but I love Viking longboats so much and they do really well against troops that are within range walking along and granted you know he could come out this way and go all the way around this side but what's the most common way to get to your opponent well the the quickest point between point a and point b which is going to be mostly through the middle so i'm taking advantage of that getting some uh more crossbows and a couple knights out there and i'm going to get a longboat or two out and here come the skirms, a knight, a scout, and two spears. And here's my longboat. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a couple more. But see how it's changing his trajectory? He has to take a different route. He can't just go straight across the easiest, fastest way. And he's already walking slow because he's got, you know, uh, infantry and cavalry mixed together. Oh, yeah, all right. He was paying attention to that, at least. I got a third longboat out, and look at that. He has to turn around and head back home because longboats. <laughs> uh, also, because I'm up here. I uh, took out a couple more villagers, causing some more delayed our idle eco, eco time up here. Um, I have 20 crossbowmen. They have most upgrades, I believe. If I could just get a hold of one. Yeah, oh, well, the first upgrade and second attack upgrade. Um, but yeah, not a good fight for him getting attacked on land and sea. And, I mean, I barely lost anything. Two crossbows. That's it. Get a couple more knights out. 
Now, I do think, yeah, I will drop a um, university around here at some point, but I don't think I ever get ballistics. And I'm kind of surprised that his delayed reaction here, um, or lack of reaction, he's sending over his troops, but he didn't try and build anything behind here. Kind of just let it happen. The knights are in, getting one villager. Two villagers. Three villagers. Lose one crossbow. Two crossbows. And a knight. He was weak, though. A knight goes down for him. Another knight goes down for him. And the longboat's coming in clutch here. Taking out another knight. <laughs> oh man now he does have two TC's up now he walled up I, I don't understand what all this is like why you could have built one thing right here but uh, maybe he doesn't realize that let's go check his point of view well uh, maybe I don't know uh 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 so yeah getting a couple fishing ships out here because it's free food it's going to help me, uh, you know, get up to imp if I want to. And right now, I've got complete water control. And he added in a Maganel, actually. Not doing that much, honestly. I'm just going to run away here. I'd like to think my longboats would probably be... And he says, such a tryhard. Yeah, I remember this guy wasn't a very nice guy, honestly. Um... He paused the game for a split second, says such a try hard, um, then resigns, and then after the res it re he resigned, uh, you know, the no longer records, and he says, uh, go suck a D. Wasn't very nice. So I replied, well, you know, maybe I'll put this game like on that. YouTube. <laughs> I don't normally do it, but uh, it was a pretty good game to begin with. Anyway, we're going to catch you guys later. Bye.